Hi, it's Kelly and welcome back to Me More TV. Today's video is a beauty video. I'm going to share my evening skincare routine with my top three tips. Okay, so tip one. As you can see, I've got a full face of makeup on. So whenever you cleanse at night and you have a full face of makeup on, you must cleanse three times. Why? First time to remove the makeup, second time to remove the remnants of the makeup. And on the third cleanse, I use an electric um, cleaning brush. Now, I've actually done a full video of this, which is on my preteen skincare routine. You can click on the card. It's great on the third cleanse in the evening to get a really deep clean. To cleanse my face, I'm going to use my Obagi foaming cleanser. I am a little bit lazy and I love a good foaming cleanser. Uh, but when you have a full face of makeup, sometimes you might need to use an eye makeup remover or something a little bit heavier. I'm going to combine the two here. I'm actually going to use the Intensive Ultra Calming Cleanser just to really loosen it up around my eyes and then just remove that with a cotton, a couple of cotton pads. So just round, 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 really gentle, really gentle. So we kept that on my fingertips. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now watch what I'm not doing is this. Especially if you're younger, please just keep it really light around the eyes. Then just very gently with a dry cotton pad, I'm going to remove that. Turn it over, use the other side. Okay, so that's just sort of released the makeup around my eyes. Now I'm going to get wet. Always make sure you're using warm water. If you're doing this in the bathroom, now, foaming cleanser. Of course, you know, I do this in the shower. It's so much easier. And then, nice circular motions. We want to remove all of that makeup. Warm water, warm water. If you're in the shower, it should be warm. And the reason for that is you want to open your pores while cleaning. Now, rinse that off again, make sure it's warm and rinse off all of your cleanser. Make sure you get around that hairline. And this is really a routine Ooh. Ooh -hoo -hoo. for over 30. Tip number two, hat dry your face. This is so important. Young ones, if you're under 30, 20, you will thank me in 10 years. The skin on our face is a lot more sensitive than the skin on our body and we've got to look after it, so be gentle. And the other thing is while I'm doing this, don't do this again. So many young people screw that up. It's gonna screw up naturally. <laughs> don't speed it up. So I've pat dried my face. That was cleanse number two. You can see there's a little bit of black still under my eye. This is where my little cotton buds come in. Just before I do my final cleanse, I'm putting a tiny little bit of the Dermalogica on to just clean up the little black that's under my eyes. Using one side, turn it around, use the other side. Don't be too heavy handed with that. On the unused side, meep, in there, and I just put it into my waterline and you see what comes out there too. And then your other eye, just very gently removing that makeup and turn it around, go again, dip it in the water. If you are in the shower, obviously you do this when you get out of the shower, that will be your final set. All this obviously is so much easier when you have a shower rather than doing it like this. Okay, the Third and final cleanse, my little secret weapon. Now this comes with, as I said, it's in the video, but it comes with three different brushes. This is a silicon brush head. There is a really soft brush head, more for every day. And then this one is a little bit firmer, which is great for exfoliating. What I tend to do is I just love the silicon brush, which I'm going to use now. You'll see that it's just, it just feels like it gets very deep. But in the mornings, 
I use, that's like an everyday one because it's just really fluffy and light, but it's still a deep cleanse of what my fingers would do. I'm going to put a tiny little bit. Again, I would have put my face under the shower, but I'm going to have to splash water all over it again. Come on. Little tiny bit of cleanser. Now this is water resistant, not waterproof. Just wet the face. Final cleanse. In my eyes, the most important cleanse. And then two speeds. Now I, oh I love that feeling. I just go around, keep it in circular motions. I know it goes around anyway. I go just around the, uh, the eyes, up to the forehead. I don't go in close around the eyes. Do not go into this area. Again, it's too sensitive. Then right into the nose. Anywhere you get those clogged pores down here. It's usually your T-zone. So there. Now, important. Don't forget the neck. Work from the bottom up. And when I'm in the shower, I do my decolletage. I do all of it right down to my cleavage. Because that can get a bit sweaty down there when you're working out. This is the second speed. I usually don't use the second speed, but if your face is really clogged um, with blackheads or your pores are not looking the best, I'd go the second speed because it will just penetrate a little bit more. It will sort of stimulate the skin a little bit more. Wake up! Now we rinse that off. Gentle on the eyes, don't screw the eyes out. Pat dry the face. Pat dry the neck. Pat dry the decolletage. Be gentle, gentle, gentle with that area. One thing I would like to mention is if I do have a breakout, I steal my daughter's Auvergne Cleansiderm uh, and use it on my final cleanse. It's got salicylic acid in it, which um, just really helps with any sort of breakouts and I put it on my electric cleansing brush and do the final cleanse with the cleansy derm. If you watched my morning skin routine, you may remember that I was on the fence about toner. Do you know, I just didn't feel the need for it. But what I have done, I don't tone in the morning. I do feel it works of the evening, especially after you've had to cleanse three times, your, your skin is feeling quite tight. I tone at night. And it just really preps the skin for the final stages of moisturizing. This is the Abaji toner, but I emptied it into this little travel bottle um, from my last holiday. That was the last of it. Tip number three, please, please make sure you're using an eye cream at night. This is when your skin is working its hardest. It's clean, it gets to sleep, it gets to replenish. If you are over 30, I would even say over 25, depending on your skin type, please start using an eye cream. I love the Abaji eye cream, you know that. That is not new news, um, and I'm still using it. Simply, just go as close as you can into that <laughs> crepey area. <laughs> no, no, not crepey area. Okay, just sort of dab it around. Dab it around because you're about to do a massage. Make sure you dab it right out here. Now, once you have it there, a nice gentle, gentle, see I go in and come out, in, out. This is where those laughter lines are. Massage out there, push into the hairline. Always come in, don't pull out. And that is enough. With your eye cream, whatever you put on your eyes, you put on your lips. I've been doing this for 20 years. Sure, it's helped. <laughs> then, so right now, I am using the Abaji New Derm. You know I've used the Abaji RXC system, which I love, I love them all. Um, so I'm doing the number three and then the number five. In the morning, it's number three and number four. Obviously, because of three, we do every day, it's a skin brightening cream, morning and night. And then that's my, my evening one is the Skin Brightening Cream, but it has the vitamin C and E in it. So not too much of this. It is quite heavy. It really gives me a matte finish. So get that on. I'll do a little extra for my neck. 
Now, I do not go, remember here, okay, so across on the forehead, really important. Come in and around, come down the nose, up the cheeks, across on the chin. Avoid the eye area where you've just put your um, eye cream. They're different components, they've got different ingredients, don't mix them. They've all got different jobs, let them do their work. I'm going to put a little bit extra on because I haven't got enough to come. Always up, up, up on the neck. Now this is really important too, I'm going to show you this, is the decolletage. I'm going to add, after saying you only need a little bit, I'm using extra, extra, but I'm very dry at the moment. And skin brightening, I need that area to look a little bit bright. One thing here I've noticed a lot now is I'm getting all the little um, sunspots. And about six years ago, I had IPL done and I had it all done on my decolletage and looked wonderful. So I'm going to get that done again and it actually helps with fine lines on the neck, but I will shoot that and cover it and do a review for you all. This is the number five. Now I can feel that sort of really absorbed, but you don't have to rush this. You might go, you might clean your teeth and then put your final one on. So again, just dab it on, make sure it's even. I'll do the neck separately. Circular motions. Now, across the forehead, down the nose, up on the cheeks. See, this, this is the heavy one, I got that confused. So this one is, feels quite heavy, which I love for a night cream. I just want something that's really hydrating. But you see how it's, it's really matte, it's keeping all that goodness that I've put it on in there. And everything, please don't forget the neck. Anything you put on your face for every day, just don't forget that neck area. Up, 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 up on the neck. And again, figure eight on the decolletage. And be quite generous with that. You see how I'm doing that figure eight? Just keep that moving. Oh, look at that skin. So there you have it. That's my evening skincare routine with my top three tips. Um, I make lots of other videos on lifestyle and beauty. And you can find me on social media at memore.tv. Dab, 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 dab. Dab. <laughs> oh, my daughter's going to cringe at that one.